Hello, geeks. I hope everything is well. And uh, we're we're back here in uh, in another episode of Better Than Wolves. And I've got some serious building to do today. Uh, one of the things that I have decided that is going to be the most important to me right now is making sure we have uh, storage set up or like mass storage set up early and have it organized very well to begin with. Uh, one of my problems uh, all the time in Minecraft is just inventory management, and that has become a major problem already. So most of these things are starting to fill up. So what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, build the rest of the other three of these, and make sure that we're actually ready to go. So I've been I've been cutting up wood and getting a lot of things ready since the last episode. So cutting down wood, splitting it up into uh, sidings and building chests and uh, I found a cheaper recipe for making stairs so started doing that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna just get right into building this. I'm gonna build uh, something very similar if not exactly the same to that on this side. Uh, then I gotta move the wolves, and then I gotta do it on that side and that side. So that is that is my first project for today. So I will see you guys as I do that. All right, I got one out of the two or one out of the uh, three remainders uh, finished, and it is taking a lot more wood than I thought. Uh, I guess I didn't really keep track of how much wood the first one took. Uh, I took some time to add some on this, and some here, and I think I should maybe look, or take take you through making one of these, just, uh, it's pretty simple, probably can guess, but, uh, best place would be over here to check it out. Uh, the lowest tier has stairs, uh, I'm trying to place the stairs in such a way that it avoids blocking the other, um, or the ones down here as much as possible, but there are certain instances like right here. Uh, the way this stair actually looks is like that, so I can't click through there regardless of how things are set up. Uh, at the very bottom here we've got some uh, some pumpkins for light so that we have to use less torches. I could probably knock these out, but I don't have my, er, my eyes that let me see where things are. Around the back, I'm not going to be able to build the walls for this thing for a while because I need to slowly get the glowstone to light it up and make this or all the chests look bright regardless of what time of day it is. Uh, there are some weird lighting glitches, so you want to avoid those. And all of the wood is either upside down or right side up stairs depending on where it falls. So if you get really close here, this one's an upside down stair. And then when you start getting up to the ones that are really high, I put those ones sort of flat against the top. That allows you to open them. And, and yeah, all these ones are facing this way. All those ones are facing that way. And then I have enough space right here uh, to put a frame so I can label what's inside of here. Now, uh, I think I said this before, but just to reiterate, uh, you, I know in 1.5 there are trapped chests. Uh, I believe it's 1.5, maybe it's 1.6, I don't know. Uh, there are trapped chests which involve putting a tripwire hook alongside a chest and that allow you to alternate them to get them very close together. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't actually exist in Better Than Wolves or in 1.5. I don't I can't remember which one it was actually added in, so all I know is I don't have it here. Also, uh, I kind of like the idea of having it spaced out a little bit so that I can kind of keep things a little bit less cluttered. So yeah, uh, I gotta build the other two of these, and hopefully we won't have to collect too much wood in order to do that. So I will see you guys after the next one's finished. Yeah. Section number three of chests. I have no idea what, to, what I'm going to call each one of these things. 
I found this amazing set of ravines here. We got one, two, three, four, five, at least. I've been charting it out a little bit. Uh, I guess you get a little too far down here. But it is so many ravines on top of each other. And if I were to go even higher here, there is another ravine. Maybe I can get a better view from there. The best with that foggy area. But there's a ravine that goes that way. And it's just... It's just insane. I really like finding these kind of things in Minecraft. I just killed a bat and got one of those scroll things I was talking about. Hold on, let's see what, what one it is here. Uh, feather falling. Oh, great. That means... If I ever need feather falling in the future, I have to figure out a way to kill lots of bats? That seems a little ridiculous. Almost at level 30 and then I'm going to be heading back and finishing up that last section of the uh, spawn area. So, I'll see you guys then. Uh, 20, level 29, shortly after ending my last recording. Of course, a creeper explodes. And the blast doesn't kill me, but uh, when, when the blast sent me flying and I fell with half a heart, that killed me. So, very unlucky. Uh, when, when creepers fall from high distances, they get all charged up, and as soon as they touch the ground, they'll explode within half a second. So, I just got really, really poor luck, I guess. Long run back. Alright, I've recovered my gear and I finished up this last quadrant of, of the sorting area. Uh, the next part is going to be deciding how I'm going to actually divide my items up and uh, where to put everything. Uh, my first idea is to, in the center of this area, build a... Uh, sort of an identifier. So, uh, there are going to be four different identifiers and we're going to see how that works out. So one of the identifiers is going to be a stone, some sort of stone structure or something like that. And in, the, er, in this quadrant around the stone we'll have our resources like mined um, iron, uh, stone, things like that. Uh, one of the quadrants will have uh, nether, and we'll put all the things from the nether in there, nether rack, uh, nether brick, all the drops from the nether stuff, and whatever else. We might make that also monster drops, uh, seeing as nether is kind of a little bit uh, slim. Uh, then this one I want to make probably like nature actually maybe this one over here will make nature and that will have wood uh, dirt uh, grass I don't know seeds maybe food as well in there and then this fourth one I'm not too sure what, I, what I'm going to do with uh, the other the uh, only other thing that's obvious to me would be water but I can't think of enough things that are around water that would actually make sense. Maybe like snow. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to really think about it and figure it out. So, Hello. I'm back. Uh, I was looking through gathering some nether brick and things in order to make the uh, different places and I found a double blaze spawner right up here. So we got two right next to each other. I need to get out of here because I don't have any fire resistance potions. So hopefully I can harness this thing and and get a good experience farm, good uh, fuel farm and everything like that. So that's a good find. Alright, I've been playing around with a couple designs and so far this is what I have for uh, for one quadrant, I've got sort of this stone area, worked in some ores, stalactites, I don't know. Uh, and then over here, 
On uh, this quadrant, we got a nether look with some quartz, some slow sand, a little bit of a fortress, and yeah, a little bit of fire. Uh, this one over here, this one's the question mark. I don't know what I'm going to be putting here. And this one I have yet to do. Uh, this one's going to be the um, sort of forest-ish one. So we're going to go with grass and a tree and we'll see how all that works. So I'm going to build the, or the one that I know of. And uh, for this one... I was kind of thinking maybe we we could do um, uh, like a machine look maybe, and we could put like pistons and gears and all the machine stuff over in this area. But that's not a lot of stuff, so I'd really have to mass produce it or something. But uh, let me build this last one, and we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll just leave this one blank for now until I get some feedback from you guys. So let's build this one. Help! <laughs> Horrible things! Um, there's a ghast! Oh, God. Stop. Die. I need to get away from my stuff. Ah, shoot. Nope, 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 nope. I'll explain what happened in a second. Oh god, no. I'm on fire. Okay. I was unaware of this fact. Um, but if you if you throw a soul urn uh, by accidentally right clicking in the wrong spot when you're trying to put the, them into soul frames. Uh, it let loose, or it lets loose a ghast, which is the same thing that happens when you fill up a hopper with, uh, too much, um, uh, too much concent er, ground up nether wreck. And, yeah, that can create some, some negative side effects. Now I've got a ghast loose above my cloud layer, and... I don't know how I'm going to get it back, or get it down. Let's see here. Let's see if we can hunt this guy down. I guess there's a reason why... <laughs> there's a reason why, uh... There's a roof on the nether. These guys tend to go upwards. As it turns out. I don't know if I can even shoot that high. Okay. Alright. Well, I've got some cleanup to do now. But, uh, I guess seeing as I'm already recording, uh,. I sorted out a, a bunch of things, or a bunch of the major thing. Oh, crap. I had sorted out most of the major things. Uh, I got the diamonds and all that stuff sorted out, and in this area somewhere. And uh, I am currently in the process of waiting for this area to grow so I can make it look a little bit better. So I'm just letting dirt, or letting grass grow across the dirt. Seems like this stuff was not even needed. Uh, it also seems like you can't use your silk touch pickaxes on dirt or anything other than uh, what a pickaxe can actually mine. Otherwise it'll just break up into dirt and you can't place the grass around. So I had to had to let the grass grow from, I believe, over there it started. It's been a long, slow process of me sorting things out and waiting for grass to grow. So, hopefully when I come back next, I'll have enough item frames to actually 
uh, replace all of the ones that burned because I used up most of them. Uh, and we'll be able to to uh, start building some machinery around here. This is the next part I need to do after I fix all this wood that burned. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, this time we're not messing up. Soul urn inside of this frame. There we go. All good. Crap, wrong frame. Good. Ah, the typical sounds of your all-Canadian farm. Fantastic. Run, cows, run! I need all of your leathers. All of your fantastic skins. I also need a looting sword. That'd probably increase the speed of this. Maybe next. Ah. Don't kill the babies. Don't kill the babies. Don't kill the babies. I can't, I can't tell if I'm killing the babies. That'll probably do for now. 30. That'll make a stack of frames. So. Uh, I should probably turn off the camera for this one. Alright. I've got the sorting sort of figured out. Uh, this is looking good, this centerpiece as far. As far as I'm concerned, there's one piece of uh, grass that hasn't yet grown. Uh, just went with the very nature-y thing. Uh, on this side, we've got grass, clay, or er, ah, glass, sand, clay. All the four types of wood are going to be here. I've collected some of the uh, birch and other er, and uh, oak wood, but I don't have any of the other two yet. Uh, dirt's gonna be there, and I'm also gonna put hemp here and a few other things. I've just, I just keep running out of, um, frames over and over and over again. I am cutting them up with the, uh, the shears and getting twice as much as I normally would, but that still doesn't count for too much. Uh, we got stone, we got our precious materials, uh, in the center here. Oops, I forgot to actually label these so we do that uh, coal and i was a little bit uh unsure about this but i think i'm gonna have to just keep my coals together so we got nether coal right on this side we're gonna need lots of that so it's kind of in our bulk area we got uh gravel here and then over on this side, this is the most filled out area so far. This is uh, netherrack, hellfire, ground netherracks up here. I'll probably leave the labels though. And then we got food, uh, monster drops, nether brick, and glowstone. And then we also have a whole bunch of empty space in there. Uh, we went with nether sort of design for that corner. This one's cavish. Didn't really look at those for too long. We put a whole bunch of different uh, resources in the floor. And I think the next thing that we need to, to do is, first off, we gotta get, get rid of our double, uh, double windmill here. This is our first windmill. It's no longer needed. And we're gonna in its place. Uh, what I'm thinking is we should probably um, I I'm gonna need cauldrons and things for cooking food and cooking resources and all that stuff so I'm thinking that could go here but I'm not exactly sure like I'm, I'm not gonna need too many of those so maybe that should go on a corner. I don't know. A little bit difficult to say. Let's see. Let's break all this down. I 
definitely need a dedicated mill. Because this, I've been using just one mill ever since I started, and this takes a long time. I need, I need to like, I need to figure out a lot about that mill. I think that's going to be one of our next builds. I've got two builds pl are planned in mind. Uh, one's going to be a automated sawmill, and the other is going to be an automated mill. Yeah, you got to figure out how to make each one of those. Let's see. Those are planks, not... Um... Ah, crap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, one, two... Okay, never mind. It's not so bad. Panic there for a second. So one, two... Got a little bit of wood back there. Kinda stopped mid-sentence out of panic. Alright. Uh, I want to talk about one other piece of gear that we can that we can use as I sort of build this, or er, take all these resources and sort them. Uh, one thing that, that's very portable and very usable for mechanical power is, um, is the idea of uh, a water mill. So, I want to try to make a water mill, and maybe, potentially, I don't know, we might use a water mill in place of our, um, oops, in place of our windmill, that way we don't have anything sticking out from the top. So, uh, let's try to make it one of those water mills. I think I have everything ready for that. But I need to clean up this mess, so I will see you guys in half a second. Alright, so let's play around with the windmill. Uh, or not windmill, water mill. Which we should be able to create now. So in order to do that, you need wood blades. I believe these things don't seem to stack. I think you need uh, eight of them. So, four, six, seven, eight... There we go, and just need to make a full circle with them, like so. And you got a water wheel, and uh, these work fairly similar, except for they involve water, and I think it has to be running water. Not a hundred percent sure, so. These will work uh, whether, whether it's raining or um, or not. Or what? Yeah, yeah. Exactly that. <laughs> and let's just try this out. So, do that. I don't think that's going to actually work. Let's just go out a few. I don't know how large these things are. Not enough room to place water wheel. Let's see. There we go. And this doesn't look like it's giving us any power, so I guess the the water does have to be running. So I'm gonna try uh I'm gonna try setting this up in some running water, and I'll show you guys the results once I've done that. They do look fairly cool. So I'm gonna try it right here. Actually I'll just I'll just set it up and show you guys. So let's do that. I believe it was too high at least. There we go. That's actually got some movement in it. And then the gearbox. And... 
Yeah, that seems to be effective power. I wonder if this is the one that has some sort of restrictions on it in terms of, like, how far the power will go or how many things can be powered with a single, uh, or a single water mill. Because I did do some tests with a, a windmill in Creative and a large chain of just uh, the axles and gearboxes, and it didn't seem to actually stop at any point. So, I don't know. Uh, let's see where we could potentially work this into our, our builds so that we can have some running water. We do have that um, little cave underneath our base which we could play around with and put some stuff down there. I just didn't want to fill that in because I knew it was going to take a lot of resources. So, right here. Uh, not a lot's going on right here, so we could potentially do it there and run the power inside. Or we could have it completely hidden down here. And I, if there is any sort of a limit, I can actually have multiple of them. Uh, let's set it up right here. So, we can create infinite source blocks of water for as long as there is... Or to make this like a square, essentially. All the way up until this point. So, that's how far we're gonna go. Having this uh, combination pickaxe and shovel gives me a lot of effort and thinking. And it seems to be about the point where um, my diamond sword is about to be retired. Actually, I'm going to probably retire it right now. Might as well. Alright. One, two, three. I think it's a three by three if I had to guess. Maybe it's... yeah, two, three by three? No. Five by five. Let's go one higher. Right there. I left that thing set up, didn't I? Uh, unfortunate thing, I don't think I've ever showed this. If you actually melt down a sword, you don't get the diamonds back, you only get the iron back. So. Diamond gear is something where you're gonna lose uh, lose resources over time. We'll just show that. There you go. Ingots. Yeah, water mill still set up over here. Uh, I've also been trying to get Ender. Pro oh God, there's multiple of them. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to get ender pearls. Ow. Er, I, I will more frequently than not have that happen. Where you the last blow makes them teleport away. And then finding where they land is impossible. The purple smoke went off in this direction, right? What's the furthest distance that they can teleport away? There should be at least experience around it. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and collect. Uh, I, I've said this before. I want the uh, spectacles, I think they're called. Ender spectacles. And those allow you to... Um, to see where monsters are capable of spawning. Which, when I'm doing uh, changes like this, where large sections of the floor are 
uh, replace, and I'm trying to use as little light or er, as little torches as possible, maybe with the exception of the cave area where I want to use torches. It's a little bit weird, a little bit difficult to do. Uh, if if I was using like feed the beast or something, I would just use any guy. Or you could potentially also use F3 in vanilla, but F3 doesn't have that information. All right. Grab this. Did I get it? I can hear a pickup sound. Some distance. This is how I get all of my levels. It's just going over to this area every now and then trying to get like trees at night or something. What is that sound? High pitched ring from outside. Alright. This, this is what I've been doing to automatically uh, cut some wood. It's kind of been working. Every third, second or third one will miss. Alright. Water mill. Seems to work. Let's hook things up. over. Now this lines up. I don't want to move any of my existing wiring and whatnot. Let's do that and then rotate it around. There we go. And the gearboxes. Gearboxes inside of here. I don't know what you mean. I totally don't have any place to store those. All right, gearbox. Head our way in. Up, and I'm gonna cut off the uh, the windmill power and make sure that everything still runs. Uh, I'm gonna even this up a little bit, two and two as opposed to three and one. Sources apparently cannot meet, and everything just be all right. Okay, I need to switch the inputs. Oops. There we go. Looks like everything's running, and now we don't have to deal with. Uh, everything being turned off in the middle of the rain. So, I'm gonna knock this down and collect the resources. And we're never going to go back to windmill unless it looks good. Which I actually, couple, a couple of the ideas that I have in mind are going to use windmills, so... They won't go to waste. All right. Uh, I broke 
good, didn't I? Yep. Okay, if it goes upwards, then you just have to right click on it once, it goes downwards. I like that sound. Alright. That's empty. Sweet. Okay, that, that works out alright for automation. However, I do want to refine it because very frequently this, or the way this works is it'll... Or, I guess I haven't, exp or haven't shown this yet, but... Uh, this is a block detector, so it detects when there's no, or when there's a block in the way, and it'll turn this redstone signal, or when there's, no, it's an inverted block detector, so when there's no block in the way, it takes the signal and puts it into the, uh, block dispenser, however, that will cause a block to appear, and it will turn it off, so... As a result, sometimes the block will appear and then disappear before it actually uh, it gets cut. So it's a little bit of a problem. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about all the time I have for today. I'm gonna keep be recording some legendary episodes, uh, or to to be putting out alongside the Better Than Wolves stuff. So uh, I gotta make some time in today to do that. But yeah. Uh, Thanks everyone for watching. Awesome having you guys around as always. Uh, tomorrow we're going to work a little bit more on this area. And yeah, I hope to see you. So have a nice night, day, or whatever.